should teenagers take a vitamin supplement to meet their energy level up it is useless to give a vitamin supplement unless the teenager is on a low calorie diet it is always preferable to take vitamin organically from fruits vegetables and healthy fats what proportion of meal is the best for a teenager three large meals over a day or a six small meals a day teenagers metabolism is higher than an adult it is advisable to give them a small meal at regular intervals rather than large meals at longer duration it will help them to keep their energy level high all day and prevent them overeating at meals explain what is bmr bmr means basal metabolic rate it is an energy expressed in calories that the body requires to keep it functioning at rest what should be a daily diet for a patient with type 1 diabetes diabetes type 1 diet should include variety of food containing unsaturated fats such as nuts avocados and oily fish avoid processed food high fiber food eat more fruits and vegetables include beans and lentils in your diet reduce or avoid intake of salt sugar and alcohol what is the formula to calculate bmr or basal metabolic rate the harris benedict equation for men 13.75 into weight plus 5 into height minus 6.76 into age plus 66 for women 9.56 into weight plus 1.85 into height minus 4.68 into age plus 655 explain what is the difference between dietitian and nutritionist the role of both nutritionist and dietitian are same they both are healthcare professionals and give vital information on healthy eating habits and dietary supplements dietitian can be a nutritionist but not all nutritionist are dietitians dietitian are registered and nationally recognized while nutritionist is more general what is the best vegetable to eat all fresh vegetables are the best for your diet it comprises of all essential nutrients like fiber potassium folic acid vitamin a vitamin c and most important range of antioxidant which can reduce the risk of cancer is meat bad for your good health meat is an excellent source of protein iron and other essential nutrients however it should be roasted or grilled instead of frying to derive maximum health benefits if you don't drink milk because of lactose intolerance where you can get calcium from If you are not consuming milk due to lactose intolerance you can get calcium from fat free cheese and yogurt canned sardines orange juice and cereals Explain what is good and bad fat Fat is classified into two categories saturated fat and unsaturated fat The unsaturated fat is healthy and reduces the risk of heart diseases while saturated and trans fat are bad and increase the chances of heart ailment list out saturated and unsaturated food items saturated fat cheese butter deep fried foods processed oil and fatty meats etc unsaturated or good fat fish olives 
nuts and peanuts and vegetable oil explain what is the most important point to remember in nutrition the most important thing in nutrition is moderation and diversity one must consume all type of foods and in moderate amount not in excess how much water should an individual consumes per day men 13 cups around 3 liters of water per day women 9 cups around 2.2 liters of water per day what is the good source of iron the absorption rate of iron from meat poultry and fish are higher than iron from plants in order to get maximum absorption of iron along with iron rich foods you have to take vitamin c like citrus fruits or yogurt why antioxidants are important for your body antioxidants are substances that may protect cells in your body from free radicals free radicals can damage your tissue cells it is formed when your body or tissue cells are exposed to certain chemicals pollution radiation etc what are dietary antioxidants dietary antioxidants comprise of selenium vitamin a and related carotenoids vitamin c and vitamin e do calcium supplements interfere with medications calcium does interact with several medication in different ways like antibiotics diuretics laxatives etc it will have an effect on the absorption process of medication or vice versa it is always advisable to take physician advice on its intake and at what duration you can have it is it okay to replace medication with food supplement like replacing cholesterol medication with niacin niacin is like b3 vitamin egg peanut milk which has a tendency to reduce blood cholesterol but you already on medication that is reducing cholesterol you should not replace it with high intake of vitamin b3 or niacin what should a pku diet be pku is a genetic disorder called phenylketonuria it lacks the enzyme which converts phenylalanine amino acid into tyrosine amino acid resulting in accumulation of phenylalanine excess phenylalanine causes brain damage so children who have pku should avoid protein rich foods explain what is the intake of protein diabetic about 15 to 20% of your daily calorie should come from protein however a diabetic patient won't have any difference in their sugar level with high intake of protein so they can consume food with rich protein unless they have ckd chronic kidney disease related to diabetes explain which egg is more nutritious white or brown both eggs have same nutritional value they are rich in protein vitamin and most important nutrient choline which is responsible for brain development and function one egg may provide half of your daily requirement of choline 